This is Retro Game Coders. My name is Chris, and this is part two of the Commodore 64 Electronics series. In this video, we're going to look at creating a security system using a Commodore 64 and the user port. In the previous video, we looked at output. We made a pin, turn on an LED, and all we did was we set the direction register to set the pins to output, and we connected the LED to ground via a resistor and to the first pin. And that meant we could turn the pin on and off using poke 56577 and then 0 or a 1. Output is only half the equation. Obviously, we want to look at input as well. And rather than just do a silly example of pressing a button, I thought we'd do a security system. As you'll see as we get through this, all of the code is pretty much the same. The main difference between the previous example and this example is the direction register, and we set everything to an input. And then instead of poking to set the pin on or off we do p56577 and then we know the state of the pin we can read the pin and again you're going to get a varying number back depending on which pins are seeing current and which pins are not and again it uses binary so we've got pins 0 to 7 and we have to the power of 2 for each one. So the end pin is going to add up to 255. Internally, there's pull-up resistors, which makes a pin high, but also it depends if the sensor itself works by passing or restricting current, depending on the activity it sees. So we'll look at a variety of different sensors, but they're all essentially switches. They all pass through either a 0 or a 1. And how we interpret that depends on what we're looking for. I've got a motion sensor, a door switch, a light breaking switch, and we've got a switch that is on or off depending on the location of a little metal ball. So you can use it as a tilt switch or as a shake switch. Here we've got the main code that we we'll use in all of these examples. And as I say, we set the direction register to input. In this case, we're setting the screen to black. We clear the screen using shift and home and then we check the state of the pin. So in this case, we're checking 56577 and we're putting it into our in variable. And then we say, if value we get back is 255, then something is happening. It's an intruder. We do a little loop of one to 100 just to wait, and then we set everything to black again. As I said before, the difference between the different sensors will give you a different result, and also which pin you're connected to. In this case, I'm connecting to pin seven, and that's why we're looking for 255. So if I do a peak now, and if I move or don't move, it's going to give a different result. And so that motion detector is triggering and it is outputting current if there is movement detected. And therefore, I can also power a little LED so we can get a visible indication as well as on the Commodore 64. 